last day three children okay last day we have discussed about the processor and processor types basically can you remember the processor types that we have discussed what are the processor types we have discussed yeah me yeah sir dual core yes quad core single core yes dual core quad core and single core well, correct exactly those are the those are the processor types we were discussing last day and today we are going to discuss more about the processor so what are the other components inside the processor and what is the purpose of those components likewise we are going to analyze more about the processor as well as in addition to that what we are going to discuss is the history of the processor evaluation and today's topic is basically what is inside the processor and about the processor evaluation how processor evolved okay so please write down subheading what is inside the processor what is inside the processor this is there in your book basically i have extracted the same thing from your book but uh, let's write down small note in addition to that there is a support note So please try so it I, I had a small connection problem. Can I, can I hear what sir said again? What is, yes, I'm going to type that. What is inside the processor? What is inside the processor? Sir, not sir. Yeah, please write down. Your time. Okay, sir, thank you. Dead. Then the first components inside the process is called yes, ALU. Can what anyone remember the name ALU? What do you mean by ALU? What is ALU? Arithmetic logical unit. ALU is ALU is the this one, sir. Arithmetic, arithmetic and logical yes. unit. Yes, arithmetic logic unit. Arithmetic. Sometimes you call logical arithmetic logic. and logical unit or arithmetic, you can say arithmetic and logic unit, right? Arithmetic and logic unit. And the book is given arithmetic and logical unit. Yes, both are correct. Arithmetic and logical unit or arithmetic and logic unit yeah. or arithmetic and logic unit. Whatever. So what it does it performs mathematical calculations such as addition, division, subtraction, and multiplication. So it performs these. Ma. Mathematical calculations and logical functions such as comparison, grouping, sorting, filtering, etc. So that is what arithmetic and logical unit does. So that is inside the CPU. In the inside CPU, you can see ALU, arithmetic and logic unit. Okay, quickly write this. Quickly write this and let me know. Once you are done, please let me know. Okay, so can anyone tell what are the other components inside CPU other than ALU? Control unit? Yes. Control, control unit. Uh, central processing Memory unit. Registration. Motherboard. Oh, 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 oh. Inside the processor. Right? 
Remember, inside the control processor... Control unit and memory register. Yes, control unit. Yes, there's a kind of memory, memory but... Range. Right. So please uh, refer to this one, not the system unit. I'm asking about processor, right? Processor means this component. So let's, let me show. Processor means this component in the video. Just refer right, this one. And this is the processor. You can see whatever the connected, this is central processing unit. So let me. Sir, I don't know what to do. Come on, I don't know what to do. Right. So this okay, is sir. central processing unit, this yellow color, right? This is CPU. So random access memory is there, right? RAM is here. It's not inside this. See, I'm asking what is inside this unit, this unit or CPU. So motherboard is something external, right? Huh? So right. let's go back. Right. Okay. The first one is ALU. The second one is CU. Means control unit. It's similar to a traffic police. Similar to a traffic policeman. It sends control signals to each and every component. Each and every component. It also understands the instructions. So that is the task of control unit. So similar to traffic policeman, why I'm telling like that traffic policeman, basically, he's not driving. He's asking drivers to go right, go left, now come front, right now, just turn left, turn right. Likewise, he's instructing, but he's not doing anything. He's just telling, just telling. So similar to that, see you, he's telling another component, see you, please uh, access input, uh, please save this. Right, please take it to memory or now please calculate. Likewise, it's telling other components to do. Now send it to output, send it to monitor, send it to printer and read from the pen drive. He is advising other components but not doing anything. It's like traffic police. Right? Okay, one of you have asked question. Right, Harisa, I'll, uh, that, that part let's uh, discuss later because it's not relevant to the problem. So how to change the background. So there's a, okay, anyway, uh, in the video, there's something called video settings or virtual backgrounds. From that you can change. In the video, there's a, in the sub menu, there's something called virtual background. From there you can change. 3rd component is, let me write the third, it is called memory registers, memory registers, memory registers, small, fast, faster memory locations which helps to do ALU and CU operations. It is small and faster memory locations. That is the place where you do the processing. You apply the processing to those memory cells.
you apply the processing to those memory cells. It's like, uh, okay, it's like you eat something. It's like you are going to eat something, but uh, when you are eating, you have to actually process that first using your tea. Finish, sir. Okay. So when you are eating something, you have to pre-process that using your teeth. It's something like that. So keeping this memory location, this is how it does the process. And those are the three main components inside the processor. And there are some more. Can, can somebody tell that? It is not there in the book, but there are some more. Can someone tell me the answers? Yes. So who knows that? Anyone? Okay, it's not there in the book, but let me tell. So what was the question? So what are the other components other than ALU, CU, and memory registers? What's there in the inside CPU? Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear them. Okay, sir. Central processing unit. Yeah. Inside the central processing unit. What are the other components? I'm asking what RAM? is inside that. No. RAM, RAM is outside. No, I saw the video. I think you saw. So ALU? ALU, yes, correct. CU, CU and memory register. Yes, ALU, CU and memory register. That is memory the register. Correct, yes. That is there in the book. So what are the other things which are not there in the book? Is anyone know? Okay, there are more, right? So fourth one, this is not given in the book, but you can write down. These are called internal bus. Internal buses. Means data paths. How basically it, it is how data moves inside the processor. So there should be ways to move data. No? How you move place to place using this data buses, internal buses. And there's something that is number five, cache memory. Faster memory, which keeps currently processing data. Those are the components inside the CPU. First three given in your book. Hmm? Second two are not given, but still important. We will learn in other grades. In the exam, they will not ask about fourth and fifth, right? Don't worry. In the exam, you will not get questions from fourth and fifth. But you have to remember that there are some more components. So that is internal buses and cache memory. Internal buses and cache memory. Please write down that as those two. Okay. ALU. And other than the ALU, the next component, what I said is CU control unit. He is the traffic police. He's looking after everyone. He's looking at every other components. So this is your control unit, CU. And so not only ALU and CU, as I said, it has something called registers. Registers are small memory cells. Okay, let's try. So these are the registers. Those are small memory cells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Likewise, there are many. So around 32 memory cells. This is where data, you keep the data. If you want to add two numbers, you can put those two numbers in these two cells. For an example, you can put number one here. Let's say number six here. Right? And as well as another number in another one. So wait, wait. This is number six. Let's change the color of this. Make it dark color, then you can see the number. And 
another number let's say number seven here and if you want to add number six and seven and keep the answer here so this is how you do this six seven you send it to alu add and store the answer in this cell this is like these are small memory cells so what is the name of these cells yes i said Regi um, 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 memory registers. Memory registers. Yes, memory registers. Right. Sir, how do we mark it? Means? I didn't get how, you. I mean, I mean now we wrote uh, we drew a C U and we wrote C U. We drew a L U and we wrote L U. But how do we mark this? Ah, uh, is there any short name? You asking whether is there any short name for this one? No, no, no short name. They, they also just registers, right? So, isn't it memory registers? Yes, memory registers or registers, whatever. Right. So these are the okay. memory registers. Okay. Other than the memory registers, all the components to be processed are stored in a special memory. That memory is called cache memory. This is where all the instructions are stored until processing. This is called cache memory. Where do we draw it? Yeah, you can draw this. You can draw this. I think it's better to draw. I drew the whole thing, sir. Okay. So this is how your CPU has the component CPU. This is central processing unit, and inside the CPU, the main name for this is central processing unit. Inside CPU, you have ALU, CU. This is registers. So let me name this as registers. Otherwise, you won't recognize this. Registers okay. and the cache. Registers and the cache. No fail, no outline. Okay, now you can see the components inside the central processing unit. And as I said, right? as I said, to send this information here and there. So what those components? Internal are? buses. Yes, internal buses. So you have to send da data from your cache here. So wait, wait, wait. It's not clear. Should we draw it, sir? Yes, please draw. You have to send data from here to here. And you have to send data from here to here. A L U to catch. Cash. Cache. Right. A L U to cash and cash to registers. Likewise, you have to send data from here to here too. Sir, we can draw straight away from A L U to catch, no? Yeah, A L U to cash. Cache to CPU, CPU to C, uh, sorry, cache to registers, register to registers. So these are called internal buses. You have connecting lines actually. So I need to draw that internal buses. Okay, for those who joined recently, we were discussing about this thing. So let me explain from the beginning. Give me one second, right? So don't worry because I have to explain this for others. What is inside the processor? We were discussing about what is inside the processor. The first one is ALU. The second one is CU. ALU is doing mathematical operations and logical operations. CU is doing, control unit is doing, Basically, do you play in the role of traffic policeman? Send in, uh, actually, send in control signal. It doesn't do anything. Traffic police drive car and any, yeah, upadesh dene on. That is CU karan upadesh dene. Send in control signal. Memory registers keep data. Internal buses transport those data. And cache memory it keeps the currently processing data instructions. Then please draw this, and this is how. Your CPU looks like, but actually, if you zoom, you will not see these things. I just this is just 
a hypothetical model. Hypothetical model means a model to show how this works. Done drawing, sir. Okay. Me too, sir. Okay, great. So each and every place you have these are buses. This is how. So these dark lines, black lines indicate buses. How data saying? So same. the black lines. Black lines, yes. Black lines indicate buses. Okay, finish drawing. Yes, sir. Okay, then then let's uh, let's learn this how this works and all. Let's learn how it is really working. Okay, if you send, if you input, if you input here, if you input something, let's say you input like uh, ten plus five. You input ten plus five through your keyboard. So that Should we write first... it, sir? No, 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 no. Just for the explanation purpose, right? Then what will happen? Then what will happen? It will process. Ah, uh, before processing, it should go to somewhere. Okay, I said this, Mama. Exercise. To, the, the, to ALU. ALU. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. To memory registers. Ita kaling yano no, 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 no. See you. No. See you. No. CPU. <laughs> No, CPU in the main CPU at the end of the system unit. Internal buses. Wait, 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 wait. Cash. Wait, I'll give you example. Okay, what is 10 plus 5? What is the answer? 15 plus 5, 15. 15. 15. Okay. So uh, then please do this 10 plus 5 into 2 divide by 3 right, and multiply by 7 at 5, then subtract 2. And what is the answer? Um, actually, sir, I didn't get the sum. I couldn't write it properly. Yeah, you couldn't write. So, so that's what I said. So it's not there in your memory. right? So first it should go to the memory. No? Then only you can do that's the calculation. Not, said, sir, memory registers. Not memory registers. That is called main memory. Right? Main memory. That is your random access memory. RAM. Ram. Is it the RAM, sir? Yeah, main memory means RAM. First, when you input uh -huh. this, right, it will first go to, when you input, it will first go to your main memory, RAM. This is your input. You can input through the keyboard and it will give, go to your main memory. Main memory will then send, main memory, memory can do memorizing only. It cannot do calculations. Where are calculations happens? Calculations happen in ALU. ALU, yes. You have to send this to, first you are sending this to actually cache memory for the current processing. And from cache memory, ALU will take this and CU will instruct. CU is the instructor. He is instructing ALU to, hey, calculate these two numbers. Please add these two numbers and solve the question and give it to me. To solve, AL, you need the help of registers. So AL will, will put this number 10 and the number 5, 10 and 5 to registers. And after putting into the registers, right? let's put the 10 and 5 in the registers. After that, it will add. And the answer is 15. Then it will take the answer that is 15. Now it knows the answer that is 15. And answer 15 is given back to the from the cache. It will it will given back to the cache, and cache will give it back to the main memory because main memory has given this task to ALU. Then it will come back to ALU, main memory. And main memory then According to the CU instructions, if CU asks to display that in the monitor, it will go to the output device. Sir. Yes. 
um, sir, in my display page where I draw this, there is no place. Should I draw this? So here, no need to draw this, right? Wait, 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 wait. No need to draw this. Please try to understand first, because okay. Right? First, understand that is important. Then internal my... buffers now move everything. Sorry. Internal buffers move everything, right? From yeah, yeah, yeah. ALU to yeah. registers, oh, memory registers to page. Yes, internal buses move everything. Love you, love you. Yes. I can hear some more sounds. Sulakshana, are you asking any question or Sulakshana? What well, questions? Mona hari aha naude na tam vena mona hari sounds the ni mathe. Mathe ahen na pute hari ra. Okay, I think some other sounds, right? So let's mute that. Okay. Right. So let's discuss this again. Now you know the entire process. Now you know the entire process. When you give some yeah. input, Sulakshana, are you asking questions or? Mata ahen na bu. Deva kadi kadi ahen na hariye ta. Or prashna ek kaha na the netta va nikang katha ke na sadhi the mata ahen. Right. I don't know. I think something wrong with his computer. Let's see. Okay. Anyway. Right. So what's happening here, basically when you input something, Manaharidak input karama, your main memory will accept that. Then main memory cannot do the calculation, it will send that to CPU. And with the help of CU, CU will instruct what to do. And CU helps to move this here and there and do the calculation. And it will provide the answer final to back to main memory. And then you tell answer to me. That's what happens. Don't, don't write this. Writing is not really necessary. What I really need is understanding this. So when I tell you something, okay, I ask 10 plus 5, what will happen? Understand from your, your point of view, right? Not the computer point of view. 10 plus 5, what will happen first? 10 plus 5. Yes, Denori. Uh, it will go to the main memory. No, no, no. It, no may, you <laughs> don't have main memory, no. Think about you. Think about it you. Go to the brain. It, it will go to the brain. brain. Yeah, it will go to the brain before we going to the brain. Actually, from the brain. Yeah, please listen first, right? Then what? Please listen first. It will go to the memory. And memory will understand that is a calculation and therefore it will be sent to the brain, right? First you memorize, okay. Think that you don't know any maths. Okay, so forget about this. So I'm asking what is the value of this one? Uh, six, X O four. What is the value of this? 6x04. What is the value? So, what's the song? I don't know the symbol. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we actually I haven't done this song. Yes. Ekatama matatu honi. Wala danna ni me meddi tiye ne ganey dhari. Danna ti unad dengu ad mamme kya puga na mataka dhane. Hmm. Mataka yini. So X in, plus. Is it in brain or no? is it in memory now? It's memory. In memory. It's in memory. Yeah. You memory. can remember. But you can memory. remember, even though you can remember, you can't calculate. Right? Even though this is in your memory, you can't calculate because you don't know. I know that you don't know XO operation. This is called XO, but you don't know that. Since you don't know that, so you can't calculate, but still it's in the memory. Still it's in the memory. Operation. Right? That's what here. Inputs will go to the memory. But if you know how to calculate, then your ALU will help. 
but x six plus four, it will go to memory and brain both. It will go to Sir? memory and brain both. Yes. Memory is the main memory if we take in the computer point of view, right? Yeah, computer point of view, it's main memory. Okay. In our our part also, it is also main memory. Memory is resi memory resides in the it's forehead. Is. Yes. Yes. No. Right. So let me show something. Uh, here, memory uh, part of brain. Memory part of brain. So you can see. So. So if you analyze the brain, basically. So actually, I can't. Or if you see this, most of the time it resides here. Where? It resides the front. The blue part. Yes, blue part. So most of the time, but it depends on the, right? It depends on the uh, purpose basically. So there are different different parts in the brain. Right? So there are different different parts in the brain. I don't want to teach you now. Different different parts in the brain. So related to different different things, memorizing actions and taking decisions, calculations, likewise. So there are different parts related to different different components in the brain related to different things. Right. So in case if you are memory damage, memory is damage but your brain will work. So you have seen some people, they can't remember anything okay? because of some accidents and all. Maybe you have seen in the films, like a You can work. He cannot remember anything. Yeah. Have you seen those kind of people in movies? I mean, once. Yes. Some, sometimes there are people who cannot remembers it's like that memory and even so this alu component it's in it's similar to brain but this is also part of the brain right but that is us it has a main memory separately and this calculation based the arithmetic and logical unit control unit registers cache these things separate these things. and what is happening actually you have to understand right so, but uh, in advance, we will learn these things. Right. Yes, you share, Denuri, you have shared experience. That's good. Yes. So, yes, uh, it, it fade out, basically. Memory fade out. So, but in computers, so there is a separate memory and separate brain. Separate memory and separate brain. So, you can replace it. Not like us. If your memory is not working, you can replace. If your brain is not working, you can replace. That's why these separate components, right? Please understand the logic here. Okay, let's move. Now we know what's inside the processor and how these components are working. Right? Now you know what's inside the processor and how these components are working. Right? Then let's learn. Okay, so this is control unit. This is about control unit. It's just instructing the computer what to do and how to do. And, but it doesn't do anything. It just instruct. But instructor is also important because without the instructor, other component don't know how to communicate within or between each other. Yeah, like if we take the traffic police. Yes. So otherwise there will be accidents, right? So because if people don't yeah. know how to. So then, so after this session, so you have to rejoin, right? Rejoin with the same link. Finishing this, after finishing this, please join back with the same link. We have to discuss about the history of this central processing unit. So, this? Yes, the history of central processing unit. This so part. It will finish in 40 minutes that meeting. Sorry? That 40 minutes thing, it will finish. Then yeah, we should finish, join from the uh, same you link. You can rejoin with the link. You can rejoin with the same link.
Okay. Sir. Right. Okay. Then, so the next topic, please write down. Computer generations. Computer generations. The next topic, please write down. Computer generations. Computer generations. Let's copy this thing. Sorry. 